like your home state and beat the Gators in the swamp? It's actually felt good, you know. Um, like I said, whenever I was just talking to one of the guys, um, was it just felt like it brought me back to like Tampa my first year. You know, it's obviously been a frustrating year for you. You've had the injury dealing with it and coming back, maybe not running like your old self. Was, you, you look like yourself today. I mean, did you feel like, did, are you 100%? Yeah, definitely I feel 100%. You know, um, definitely said uh, the process of it was a mind thing as well with it. You know, um, of course I was hurting, but it was a mind thing, you know, just trusting and stuff, you know. So with that tempo, I definitely say I trust it way more and, you know, feel way better than what I was two, three weeks ago. How, how do you think you can build on this game? I mean, the team and you. Really, um, I go with the team first. Um, just you know, just not just taking this game as in, you know, a negativity thing, but like a positive thing where we can get rolling. You know, um, just with the guys on both sides of the ball, but not you know when it comes down to Monday, you know, it's on to the next next team. You had a 19 yard run today. That was your longest. I think you had a 14 yard against Western Carolina. What bigger deal to do against the Gators in the swamp? Uh, what do you remember about that run and, and just? I think you did that pretty early in the game. Did that help get you going? Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, um, just really just trusting it, you know, and just pressing it, you know, and just reading the keys. You got to see your son afterwards and got to got to hug him. What was that moment like for you? It was different, you know. Um, he had This is his first game he ever came to, you know. Uh, so it was just definitely truly blessing. So mm -hmm. definitely thank God, and, you know, um, it's not going to be just his first game. So. Yeah, I already told him to play down here a lot. This was only the sixth time, and the other, the other times have been 0 for 5. What's it like, especially in your home state, to be the, on the first Arkansas team to, to beat Florida here? Uh, definitely, I definitely say a blessing for that, you know. But, um, you know, like like I said, take me back to Tampa, you know, with the bowl game. So it's just a different feeling, you know, definitely being with the squad, being back with the squad, you know, playing as well. You should just 2 0 in your home state, right? Yeah, 2 0. That's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, excellent. That's good. Marcus, there was a lot of celebration with Kenny Guyton after the game. I saw you get in there and, and, and celebrate too. How great was that? To, you, it, I know KJ and all you guys came in here and said, we wanted to do it for KG. What was that like? It was different, you know, um, with me coming back, you know, and just coming back and going back to the Temple offense. The way he did things this week was outstanding. So it was like, I know he felt different after this win, but I felt different. And, um, you know, he trusted, he trusted in us this week. We trusted in him, you know, we just, like it was no no change, you know, in the offense. And it was just, the only thing that was changed was the tempo thing, you know. I definitely, big shout out to him. Who said there were times when you went over the defense and said, don't worry about it, we got you. As an offensive player, how does it feel to be able to have their back? It felt good, you know, because when we was, we've been, we've been in games like this before this year, you know, and, you know, sadly we didn't get the win, you know, or get what we wanted, you know, and they did this, you know, definitely snacks. Snack definitely a guy that comes back to the offense and be like, hey, come on, come on, you know, so I feel like me doing that, I feel like as a captain, I feel like that's the main thing I needed to do to, you know, put, put like positivity in myself, but uh, like, you know, um, just really just showing that we can do it too. When Florida missed that field goal, I mean, you guys had so many tough breaks. You probably ever do something to go right, and they probably shouldn't even got to kick a field goal. So gone yeah, that was but um, when, when they missed that, what, what was the vibe? You know, on the side of it was a different type of vibe. Um, you know, uh, just believing in each other. You know, and just not. We, I feel like the side was not like on our side of the ball. Well, not even the ball, but on our side was like just showing that you know we had we had more time. You know, with another thing to show. In that first drive, you just went down, and of course, it was tough. You lost Ty and everything, but um, how good was that? Just to kind of give everybody a good feeling and confidence, you know, to go down and score 75 yards. I guess it was on that first drive. I didn't expect that. <laughs> I didn't expect that at all. But the way we came out, you know, um, like like Coach Pitt say and Coach Guyton say, and my running back coach as well say, you know, it matter about how you go out there, you know. So I feel like they ran out there fast on the first play, and I feel like that's how I got it started. Not that you don't want to play hard and win everywhere, but coming back here, we talked a little bit about it, but did you have extra motivation for this game? I'll say I had, yeah, definitely extra motivation just being back, you know, and just knowing that um, I'm back with the team as well. What do you think it meant to Josh Barron? Because he was a Gator here, and um, what do you think it meant to, for him to, to be part of a win like this? I don't know if he did play. I don't know if he played uh, at Florida as much here. So um, I feel like for him, I feel like it was a big win for him, you know, just being since he'd been here before. You got three games left, try to get bowl eligible, and they're all at home. And on paper, they look like you know winnable games. Um, how do you feel about moving forward now? Feel good, you know, but you know we're still on this game right now. You know Monday come, that's when we're gonna be able to talk about Auburn.
Alright.